Have you ever hugged someone and thought, I felt that, I touched them? Well, here's the truth. You've never actually touched anything. Not your phone, not your bed, not even the person you love most. And scientifically, you never will. Let me explain. At the atomic level, everything is mostly empty space. The nucleus of an atom is tiny and the electrons orbit far away. So when you press your hand against a wall, your atoms get close, but they never touch. Why? Because of electromagnetic repulsion? Your electrons repel the electrons of everything around you, just like two magnets with the same pole. It's an invisible force field that pushes back, creating the illusion of contact. So what you feel is actually force, not touch. Imagine two people trying to high-five, but their hands are stopped just before they meet. That's reality, always. Even when you sit in a chair, you're technically hovering. Your body is levitating just above it, held up by electric force. This is what makes everything feel solid, but it's an illusion. It's like a trick your brain plays on you. Now here's where it gets even stranger. When you kiss someone, your lips don't actually touch. When you walk barefoot, your feet never meet the ground. You're always floating, always separated by these invisible fields of force. The electromagnetic force that keeps you from falling through the floor is so strong that it shapes everything around you, from solids to gases. But you don't notice it because your brain tricks you into thinking you're making contact. Your body and everything around you is made up of atoms that are always in motion. But no matter how hard you try, you can't get any closer than this tiny force field allows. So every time you experience the world, you're floating in place and your brain interprets this as touch. You've never truly touched anything. It's a beautiful illusion, but it's also a deep truth about the nature of reality. So the next time you hold someone's hand or hug them or touch your phone, just remember, you've never really touched them. You're feeling the electromagnetic fields that your brain interprets as contact. If you want to hear more about the science behind everything, be sure to subscribe and like only on Science Nebulae, where we bring you mind-bending facts every day.